What do you have when you take time travel, androids, lost memories, alternate universes, space colonization, and giant robot mechs, all from the perspective of 13 anime protagonists? You have 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim is a one-of-a-kind sci-fi action-adventure mystery epic that stands as a genuinely unique production with its grandiose story, beautiful visual artwork, and intense heart-pumping gameplay. This is a game that won numerous accolades such as Best Scenario and Best Adventure Game from the 2019 Famitsu Dengeki Awards, as well as being praised by industry figures such as Masahiro Sakurai and Yoko Taro. And you don't want to miss out on this narrative behemoth of an unforgettable Vanillaware video game. And with that said, let's begin. 13 Sentinels was developed by Vanillaware, a Japanese production studio who worked on titles such as Odin Sphere, Dragon's Crown, and Muramasa the Demon Blade. For any devoted Vanilla fans out there, this title is a must pick up as Vanillaware's most ambitious project yet. Vanillaware is most notable for their usage of captivating and dynamic 2D art and environments. Moving away from the fantasy style atmosphere in Odin Sphere and Muramasa, 13 Sentinels takes place in a modern setting with urban environments and futuristic landscapes. I feel like I don't even have to describe further, just look at how gorgeous this looks. The beautiful artwork is in my opinion their most signature brand along with other things worth mentioning like their good looking food and that thick bod with extra D's. The music is also an auditory treat, handled by Bass Escape, led by Hitoshi Sakamoto, Famously known for composing the music for Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy XII, Base Escape did a fantastic job like in their past Vanillaware game collaborations. There are two sides to this soundtrack for the two different types of gameplay. When you're running around in the overworld, you'll be treated to some calming atmospheric tracks. Meanwhile, while you're in the midst of firing missiles and demolishing enemies, you'll be on adrenaline by these high energy electronic techno tracks combined with a bombastic orchestral instrumentation. The greatest thing about these battle background music is as you continue through the stage, the pace and composition of the music changes to go along with the flow of the battle. You'll start off the stage with a calming techno vibe in the beginning as you obtain a foothold, and as more and more enemies begin to swarm the stage, the music intensifies in pressure and pacing as you reach the real heat of the battle. And then when you finally finish off those last remaining enemies, the track celebrates your victory with a joyous fanfare, giving you that release of tension, at least before you dive back into the mechanical mayhem. And then you play Shibugaki City Wave 10 and it just hits differently. Just listen to this music. Now let's talk about the rabbit hole that is 13 Sentinels story. The reason why I picked this game up is purely because of word of mouth. Every place I've seen this game talked about holds it in high regard. Masahiro Sakurai praises it for its depth in presentation and game scenario, and even Yoko Taro, who while jokingly says that he doesn't care if Atlas closes, says that Vanillaware is a treasure we must all protect. Like I said before, 13 Sentinels is a giant melting pot of science fiction, combining every single trope and plot device from the genre to create one large overarching narrative. If you were to take a bingo sheet full of all these elements, 13 Sentinels would hit enough to fill up two whole bingo cards all over. And yet, 13 Sentinels manages to combine all these together into a well-crafted story, all while spanning multiple time periods and across 13 different protagonists. All these characters have their own part to play in this large-scale narrative, from our outgoing schoolgirl Iori Fuyusaka, to the mysterious amnesiac Ei Sakagahara, to the dutiful bound Keitaro Mura, to the occult UFO-loving track member Natsuno Minami, and many more. These protagonists all interact and intertwine with each other's own personal stories. If there's one thing I want to criticize about 13 Sentinel's story, it's that the sci-fi narrative takes a lot of precedence and doesn't allow for much interpersonal character building. There is romance between the characters, however, I felt that there weren't enough bonding scenes between certain couples to completely sell me on their confessions at the end. As a result, some of them feel out of left field. Within the Remembrance section of 13 Sentinels, as each protagonist, you go around this 2D side-scrolling world interacting with the inhabitants, talking to them about various topics. As you gather more information, you'll unlock routes in the character's flowchart, and depending on what actions you do within that route, will change how the events will turn out. It's a video game that while difficult and confusing to grasp at first, you'll get gradually immersed into the world of 13 Sentinels and get invested into its characters. Luckily, if you're ever lost on a particular detail or plot element, the game has a handy notebook full of event logs and glossary notes to keep track of them all. Much like how Renya Goto literally holds the entire truth of the story in his handy dandy notebook. 
The story is a large part of the experience, but let's not forget about the giant invading kaiju robots. Let's talk about the gameplay. 13 Sentinels Destruction Mode has you deployed in a top-down RTS tower defense strategy game. As you queue up your pilots, you'll encounter hordes of kaiju that you'll have to fend off. All the pilots have their own different playstyles depending on the type of sentinels they pilot. First generation sentinels specialize in their ground approaching aggressive physical combat. Second generation sentinels have their mixture of physical and ranged combat that provide versatility. Third generation sentinels specialize in their long range attacks and anti-air tactics. And fourth generation sentinels provide aerial support in their easy maneuverability. In my eyes, however, here was my gaming experience. First Sentinels was my bread and butter, leaping attacks for maneuvering around the enemies and using Demolisher Blade back attacks for that sweet added damage, and EMPs for coverage. Second generation, Sentry Guns MVP, Ryoko I love you and your double Sentry Gun deployments. Third generation, who needs strategy when we can bombard the entire map? We let those missiles fly high. Fourth generation, you know they say that you should vary in tactics, but why do that when I can deploy the interceptors? Of course, you don't have to copy what I did, you are welcome to customize your own fighting style to your liking. That said, you will have to change up your fighting style and squad as you will have to combat different types of kaiju, your own pilot's health, and your own sanity. These fights can range from manageable to, okay this is pretty tough, to why won't this thing die, to oh my god there's so much stuff on the screen my frames are dropping. In conclusion, 13 Sentinels is such a unique gaming experience with a story you can't find anywhere else. While not an absolutely perfect game, it's a wonderful package that is the ambitious culmination of vanillaware experience and talent. And by the end of it all, I couldn't help but smile at how far these characters have gone, as the ending song plays in the background as a final fanfare to the joyous and uplifting conclusion of their tale. I hope you all enjoyed my review of 13 Sentinels. Here on the channel, I review anime visual novels, but I wanted to share my experience to you all in hopes to convince you to go out and experience this narrative for yourself. And as a bonus, I have a recommendation if you want something that's more in-depth in storytelling and characters, and something that feels a bit more anime. I would recommend Baldur's Sky. Set in a futuristic dystopian society, you'll be presented with the same type of cyberpunk sci-fi story with intense hack and slash mech fighting gameplay as well. I have a review of Baldur's Sky if you would like to check it out, link is in the description down below. If you're interested in anime and the narrative stories in anime visual novels, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter for my thoughts.